Yeah, I completely agree and love this comment. I'm sure this would be helpful in some science fields that struggle to communicate these concepts. And yes, um, it does. I have found when I'm working with organizations and in industries where they are based in science, um, this is a hit. They absolutely love it because they're all familiar with the table, uh, with the periodic table of elements and to see diversity really translated into their language um, has been really helpful. But what I also see is even in organizations where they are not in the sciences, um, you know, they have absolutely nothing to do with chemistry on a regular basis. They find the table of diversity to be a tool that makes sense. You know, we all learned about chemistry um, at some point in high school, college, we all learned about the periodic table of elements. And to see this tool, it, it kind of takes them back into, you know, their high school years or their college years, but it also just makes sense to think about diversity in the same ways that we think about chemistry. And so to, to have a tool that, that everyone can relate to, that everyone can understand, that the concept just makes sense, um, yeah, it, it's been helpful across uh, multiple industries. And I'm not sure if you can see, but I actually partnered with NASA to create a table of diversity specifically for their organization. So it there there is absolutely proof out there that the table of diversity is really helpful for those uh, industries and organizations where they're focused on the sciences. Um, but the table of diversity has been utilized, I'd say probably more in organizations that are not focused in the sciences than those that are. But there's a pill across the board. Um, so thanks for your comment. And, and yeah, I completely agree with you. And I love um, that your comment actually allowed me to show how I've partnered with NASA um, over the past couple of years to bring this to their organization. Thanks.